five words. Best film of the year. Hey guys, it's Ring about that with uh, my review of Interstellar. I just got I just got back from seeing the film in, in cinemas. And what did I think of it? It was freaking amazing. It lived up to every single bit of my expectations. It delivered to its full potential. This film was amazing. Loved every second of it. It's, it takes a little while before they actually get into space, but but it's so worth the way it goes. So basically, it's about it's about this man named Cooper. Um, turns out that's his last name. We don't actually know what his first name is I think and, um, and he is recruited by NASA and he has to and they send him into space they have no idea how long he'll be they send him up there for to find another planet habitable for humans NASA had found a wormhole around planet Saturn that leads to another dimension and that's where they look for a new planet habitable for mankind and you're with them the entire time during their journey and and like most like every Nolan film this is suspenseful, you don't know what's going to happen next, unpredictable, and this film is amazing in every way. Once they go up into space, um, the film just grips you. And especially the chemistry between Murph and Cooper. You could really feel their, you could really feel the, emo the emotions of their relationship. You really feel for them. When Cooper left, man, that seemed really pulled at the heartstrings. Like I said. So they go on, they, they journey out onto several worlds, and they try to get, um, get as much detail and information as they can, and the whole mission has to work. And they have plans, for everything and they gotta and if something comes up they gotta make out another plan and that's all I can really tell you about this film without spoiling it now the acting the acting in this film was phenomenal um, this had Matthew McConaughey's best performance of his career seriously better than Dallas Buyers Club and all of his, his other films. In fact, I think it says best film altogether. Um, I can't recommend this film highly enough, guys. This film was flawless. It was amazing. Um, like I said, the acting. A lot of people complained about the story. Um, but... I see. I seriously don't see what there is to complain about the story. The story was freaking brilliant, guys. It was so much uh, better than expected, and of course, the visuals in this film is breathtaking and immersive. You just really love it, and that black hole sequence near the end. Oh my God! That that film. That one. That scene, uh, you gotta see it for yourself. This, um, I can't recommend this film highly enough, guys. Best film of the year, by far. Better than Snowpiercer, X-Men Days of Future Past, Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain America Winter Soldier, better than Dawn of the Planet of the X, better than Edge of Tomorrow, better than John Wick. Watch this movie as soon as possible, guys. I can't recommend this film highly enough. 
this film is without a doubt getting a 10 out of 10 rating. That's what I thought of Interstellar. And that's my review of Interstellar, guys. Like this video, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm a train bud, and I'm out. Peace.